And in New York, the positivity rate is at 18% statewide. 160 new deaths reported. More than 12,500 people are hospitalized. And a startling number of them are unvaccinated children. Tonight, Governor Hochul is unveiling a new plan of attack on this. And CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the details. Take a look at the faces of these kids, adorable children that are clearly the apples of their parents' eye. Governor Hochul has a message for them. Parents should look at their children when they come home from school and say, do I really want to visit my most precious person in my entire life? Do I really want to have to visit them? in a hospital. Because even though those testing positive for COVID are starting to slow slightly in some parts of the state, the rate of kids getting sick is going up much faster than adults. 91% of children lying in a hospital bed today who are in there because they have COVID are all unvaccinated. Which is why the governor unveiled a Vax for Kids campaign to increase vaccination rates among children five and older. A new marketing campaign, public service announcements in English and Spanish on television and social media will urge pediatricians, parents, and guardians to get the kids vaccinated. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Bassett. Acting Health Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett is featured in the first ad. We are seeing an alarming increase in the number of children sick and hospitalized due to the Omicron variant. Vaccination is simply the best way to protect them. Since Omicron hit New York, the number of kids hospitalized with the disease has skyrocketed from 85 in early December to 571 at the end of last week. Nearly 22 percent of children 5 to 11 and 65 percent of those 12 to 17 had completed their immunizations as of yesterday. The governor says that's woefully inadequate. It's safe, it's free, and it protects even the younger siblings who are not eligible. The governor and the health commissioner also announced an end to local health departments doing contact tracing. They said with the record number of people testing positive, it is near impossible for officials to notify those who may have been exposed. And health departments can use their resources more effectively in testing and vaccination efforts. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.